So we out here at the triplex. We got a little update. We got to convert it back to a single because our lender couldn't find a, a, enough comps for multifamily. So instead of just going back and forth, we was just like, man, look, we'll flip it, turn it to a single, flip it, pull the money out, and instead of holding a triplex, we're gonna pull that money out and get an even bigger property, like a 40 unit, 50 unit, 60 unit. So that's the plan, you know. Everybody got a plan until they get hit in the mouth. We got hit in the mouth, so we pivoting, and um, you know, we're gonna turn it into a single. Comps, it appraised for 400. I think we can get 450, 475. We all in for 280. You do the math on that. We supposed to be closing tomorrow, so everything was kind of jammed the day before. The title company didn't have any um, openings, so we had to close today, which is Thursday. So now I had to travel from Atlanta. I gotta add you to my deal machine team. Okay. Yeah. Uh, send me a text and remind me because I'm on the road now. And I'm, I'm gonna be moving around. But send me a okay. text. I'll look at it. Okay. I'll show you that stuff. All right. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. So basically, me and Ayat, Ayat's one of my agents, and like I said, I partnered with my agents on deals. So she found the flip. Um, I had to go down there and preview it because uh, we supposed to went together, but. Our closing got pushed up, you know. They didn't have any availability on Friday, so within a drop of a hat, we had to hit the road. But, um, you know, we put them, we underwrote that deal last night that she's at. I just had her go over there to put her eyes on it. So I'm really just trying to train them um, to, to go out and what to look for and everything. I wish I could have been with her, but we had to do it on FaceTime this time. But, um, I'll keep y'all posted on this deal if they accept our offer. And uh, y'all already know if we if we close on it, you know, y'all will we'll take y'all through the process from start to finish. So uh I'll let me send the wire out. Take me one to go. Today is a hassle because we didn't get the final numbers till we were at the closing table. Wait, did you receive both wires? I received a wire from R and E, and then another one from um, Shazilla. Mm -hmm. I, I did not see that. Okay. I got one for R from R and E for tw for eighty five hundred. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. So the, I'm showing cash from a borrower is $28,075.56. That's not what they told you. Mm -hmm. They got the numbers. Huh? Yeah. Can I see that? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's way off. That's the escrow to hold back. What's, what does that mean when you say escrow hold back? So the, what's in, in the escrow for repairs. So mm -hmm. they, uh, they don't fund the whole thing. My hard money lender sent me a text saying we'll have to bring 16000 to closing. I interpreted that as we got to bring 16000 to closing. But he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't say the whole story. So basically, plus the fees. yeah, plus the fees. So oh, basically we had to bring 28000 So we have to leave the closing. We got to go. Yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> Run. You want me to drive? You want me to hop in here too? We need to yeah. okay. Go to the bank, run to run right. to the other bank before they close. This is like right at 4 30, bank's closing. So we had to call, yeah. like stay open. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, he said when uh, it's not enough cash to close, the deal goes south or whatever the case is. Not, you know, I don't know what he's talking about. You don't get people age closing and don't tell them how much money, and it ain't enough money, and banks closing. What are you saying? And the wire stop. What so happened? That bank is uh, on Dysburg time. They're an hour back. Uh huh. Because that's where the main location is. At. Oh, that's, that's what saved us. Yeah. They on Central Standard Time. That's what saved us. So we was able to run back to the bank, send the wire out. <laughs> you at the bank? Don't run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they trying to rob me, Alan. Uh, they trying to rob me, Alan. So we supposed to only brought sixteen thousand to the table. The, the HUD statement come out, we gotta bring 28,000. I had a couple dollars in my pocket, so we had to run and deposit that, and each thing she had to send too, so. 
We headed back to the we headed back to the title company to, to close. Finally. I know it's been an eventful three hours. <laughs> but this triplex is ours. Definitely. But it ain't gonna always be peaches and cream, man. One, three, four. Now we're ready to sign Doc. Hey, you might have said, I ain't trying to go with you, boy. Call him. <laughs> it's starting to get dark yeah, now. It's, 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 it's crazy, man. I'm supposed to go to another house, but it's like, it's no power. Now y'all just gonna go and have dinner instead. I know. I'm gonna need some wine. Nice <laughs> you and me, buddy. <laughs> Got the clothes on this triplex. Thank y'all so much. Right, thank, thank you. Congratulations. And everything gonna work out. They tried. <laughs> they, they tried. They tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shoot. They like, oh man. I ain't wanna let it go. I had it in my pocket. I, like it. <laughs> I ain't wanna give it to them, but shh, man. It's, it's been a lot, but. You know, only the strong survive, man. We ain't gonna cry, we ain't gonna make no excuses. We yeah. close. You know what I'm talking about? We close. So, we good. Well, I wanna cry and I wanna make excuses, but. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some hands. <laughs>